hello. Yeah, I know. I, I just turned on the news. I just saw it. I don't know what's going on. Zombies? What? Oh, no. Well, I know. My family's not here. You know, I, I, my, my parents are they're on vacation in Texas, and I'm, I'm by myself. Five minutes? Well, what do I pack? Oh, you're no help. I got, I'll, well, let me go. Yeah, I gotta go pack then. Five minutes. Okay. Yes. All right, bye. <sighs> hey, dolls. So, you guys are probably wondering what the hell is going on after that silly introduction there. Um, I decided to have a little fun with the tag that I wanted to do. Well, I did it, and now I'm going to show you what I did, um, but, uh, Erica, Erica on Toast, um, came up with this tag called the Zombie Apocalypse Tag 2.0, and it's a lot of fun to do. You, um, basically are just waking up, you turn on the TV, and you see that there are zombies everywhere, and as you're watching the news, your friend calls you and tells you that the zombies are coming, you have to leave town, and that he or she will be there in five minutes to pick you up. So pack as much as you can in five minutes and let's go. So um, I set my timer on my phone for five minutes and when it went off, I stopped packing. Um, I was going to film it, but to be quite honest, uh, I just didn't. My battery wasn't charged when I wanted to do this, and I just felt like maybe it was going to take away from my time, me trying to set it up and see if I could see you guys and stuff, because I don't have a front screen, so I have to, like, rig it so I can see behind to make sure I'm in frame and stuff. So, um... Yeah, so I didn't want to have to worry about setting up different camera angles and stuff and take away from my time of me packing. So I figured I would just do like the haul of everything that I gathered. I have two bags. I tried to keep it light because I was figuring maybe at one point we may have to ditch transportation and walk. And am I going to be able to carry this stuff? That's what I tried to think, and I tried to be logical. Um, there are some more things I wish I would have packed, but, you know, it is what it is. I'll have to loot that as a at a different time. So, yeah, let's just get started, and we're going to jump right into what I actually packed. Okay, so the first bag is looks like this. I actually thought about it when I grabbed it. Um, I was going to grab the regular, like, uh, grocery bag thing, but I thought because this one is, like, a cooler one that maybe if I have, like, meat or other things that need to stay cooler, this bag may work out for that, but I don't know. So, the stuff that's inside... So first of all, I figure if we're running from zombies and they're going to kill me, I may need a weapon. So um, I don't have a gun or anything, but I have this big crazy knife. I don't really know where it came from. It was in my <laughs> knife drawer. So uh, that looks like it could do some damage. And then also, you know, I thought... I need a backup, and this knife actually has a uh, case on it, and it's got a knife sharpener in it, so every time you pull it out, it sharpens it, so this knife will always stay sharp, but it's a kitchen knife, just a huge one, so I figure I can do some damage with that also, and then, you know, I figure just in case... Um, I'm going to actually, I think, carry this one on me as I'm walking because it's so little. But I figure, you know, it's little and I can jab your eyeballs out with it. Just jab, 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 jab. 
Uh, and yeah, so I figured that would be good. And then, you know, I was thinking um, long term and stuff. I don't really know why I thought to grab utensils, but I did. I grabbed two spoons, a knife, and a fork. I don't know why I grabbed that, but that's what I did grab. And then, um, but yeah, I was thinking long term. So I packed some foods and I figure, you know, rice, as long as you have water, you can boil and you can make rice. So yeah. And then, um, soup, soup lasts a really long time too. So I figure I would grab two, my bag's falling, two, um, cans of soup. Um, just in case, you never know, uh, I thought you could boil some water and make some chicken broth, you know, you could use your little, your little jabbing knife and, um, cut a little squirrel up or something, I don't know, put it in there, it tastes like chicken, you know what they say, everything tastes like chicken. Um, and applesauce lasts a really long time, so I figure, you know, this is good to have in case you can't find any other food. Um, then you have some applesauce. This lasts until 2015, so I have a whole year to eat the four of these. I also grabbed um, some chicken noodle soup and two cans of tuna for protein. I was figuring you needed some sort of meat and tuna lasts a long time in the can so you're safe with that. So I was thinking maybe you may need some like energy snacks so I grabbed these uh, natural like um, fruit rope things. They're kind of like fruit gummies or like a fruit roll up or something but they're made with uh, natural fruit like real fruit so they're healthier for you and this is like a raspberry lemonade flavor one these things are dank as junk I grabbed some sweet and salty nut nut bars with almonds because who doesn't love some nuts oh yeah I said it so then moving on to my other bag I have I packed a duffel bag. It does close. I did check, but for time saving purposes, it's magically open for us. Okay, so the first thing, obviously, I packed plenty of toilet paper because, you know, still gonna have to take care of business even if the zombies are trying to eat you. And then I also packed an extra pair of sneakers. I'm going to wear my good pair, but I figure I should have a, another pair just in case my feet get wet. And then I packed a washcloth and a towel because you're still going to want to stay clean. And then I also packed a notebook. Um, let's just pretend this doesn't say bills. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would, I was thinking if the world was coming to an end and zombies are taking over, um, you may lose track of time. So if, you know, I'm thinking I might write down what day it is and keep track every single day so I don't lose track of the days of the week and thing and such. So, I don't know. And plus to keep all of your thoughts written down. And so with that, I'm thinking you're going to need to be able to write. So I packed pens and markers, well, Sharpies and permanent markers, because you may need to write on something that a pen doesn't write on. So I thought that's why I packed a Sharpie. What else is in here? Oh, another pen. And I packed some chapsticks because, you know, can't have cracked lips. I also packed a hairbrush and two hair ties because can't have your hair looking ratchet. 
And then recently I saw this episode of Burn Notice where Fee um, lit some hand sanitizer on fire. So as I was getting some other supplies, I saw this and I was like, heck yeah, I know what Fee did with that. So I got some hand sanitizer and because I want to light it on fire, I got two lighters. And also, you know, I got two because you want to make sure you have plenty of fluid to light the stuff you gotta light, you know? I wish I could do this. I can't, oh, I can do this one. It's magical. May need to light a fire, so it's good to have that. And then next, I wish, you know, I, I don't even know. This is gross. We're going to take the cover off. How about that? My toothbrush cover. It's a little gross. All right. So I only have an electric toothbrush, so if the battery runs out, I can still brushy brushy. And I'm almost out of toothpaste, so I'm going to have to lewd some more, or loot, whatever it's called. Lewd? Loot? Loot? Looting? Lewd. I don't know. I'm going to have to steal some toothpaste at a later time because I'm almost out. But I wanted to pack my toothbrush and toothpaste. And I have some bottles of water because you're going to want to keep yourself hydrated. And for cooking, you're going to need some water. And then also, I don't know why I grabbed this, but I kind of do. It's actually... A thing to wash like your delicates or your lingerie. Ooh la la. Um, but I thought maybe you could put like some vegetables or something in it for rinsing if you have to wash something in a stream and you don't want to lose it or um I don't know but I thought maybe a mesh bag would come in handy for something. And then um, what else? Oh, we'll go over to this pocket. Okay, so also, um, <clears throat> I grabbed lots of band-aids and gauze and, um, medical tape and some, uh, antibiotic ointment and stuff and, of course, Hello Kitty Band-Aids, just because zombies are going to eat your face doesn't mean you can't be cute when fixing your boo-boos. So, yeah. Oh, and then soap for keeping your booty clean. And, you know, it may be days and weeks where you can't eat a very good meal, so you need to keep your uh health up. So how about a one a day chewable vitamins to keep yourself healthy? I packed a blanket, some uh, tank tops, and a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, some underwear and bras and socks, more socks, another bra, um, a sweatshirt, and a scarf and a winter hat. Um, the scarf I was thinking, I grabbed this one because it's kind of like see-through. It's a little sheer. It's lighter weight. Um, so I was thinking during the summer if I need to keep the sun off of my shoulders or my head or something, this might come in handy, but because it's so big, um, it can be used as a real winter scarf, or also I was thinking because it is a ginormous scarf, if I am bleeding out and my bandages aren't doing the trick, then I could wrap this around myself. Oh, I was going to say that's it for that bag, but actually I packed some tampons and pads because it's not going to stop. Just because the zombies are trying to eat your face. So, yeah, that, oh, and then also, I almost forgot, um, my winter jacket and I have gloves in my pocket already. 
So, um, I figure I could lay this over the top of my bag, and my bag has these little, like, Velcro strap things, and then I have this long shoulder strap, so this would hold my jacket in place for me, so I don't actually have to carry that, but I wanted to be well prepared, because I don't know how long, um, I'm gonna be out, and... You never know what the weather would be like. So, yeah, I hope that is enough stuff to get me by until I can steal some more stuff. <laughs> Hello? You're outside? Okay, I'm coming. Yes, I'm packed. I'm ready to go. Let's go kick some zombie booty. So that was everything that I packed to run because of the zombie apocalypse. So if you guys are interested in doing this tag, then you should definitely do it. Uh, remember, the only requirements are that you only have five minutes to gather all the things that you want to take with you on the run. So, yeah. <laughs> If you guys do decide to do this tag, then make sure you let me know, and obviously let Erica know that you did it, and I will link her actual original tag video below, and yeah, uh, make sure you check out her channel, she's really awesome, so yeah. <laughs> so if I make it through this, guys, and I last, and I beat the zombies down, then I will see you in my next video. Bye, dolls. Kind of wondering what the hell is going on, right? Yeah, let me adjust myself. There we go. I like that better. Oh. Okay. So take two. <laughs> Rude. Doesn't he know I'm filming? <laughs> JK. OMG. Like totally to be quite honest. So on one of those sides, ooh, this looks like I'm dancing.